certain pronouns, they are also definite. And we are very familiar with the personal pronouns. which you all know they are used in place of nouns and for example third person nouns in English he, she and we can translate these in Arabic um, kind of um, huwa and she will be hiya so these are kind of equivalent to the English words third person pronouns huwa, hiya, uh, separate for, for masculine and feminine. However, if we look uh, at English pronoun you, so you will be used both for um, for muzakkar, mu'annas, wahid, jama, but that will not be the case in Arabic. In uh, the case of, for example, muzakkar, we will have anta, and for Mo'annas, we will have Anti. So here we become more specific. And the first person pronouns um, like I, we, they are kind of common between masculine and feminine, just like English. This is I. So that will be Ana and Nahnu. Ana, I, and Nahnu, we. Nah. No, Anna. Although this is written Anna, but it is pronounced as Anna. So we don't pronounce Aleph here. So Anna, Nahnu. If we look at some examples, um, I looked at some of them. For example, um, uh, Surah Ikhlas, we all know. Uh, it starts with Kul Huwallahu Ahad. The so, Kul is fail. Huwa. Allahu. So he is Allah. Huwa Ahadun. He is one. Okay. So here, because Allah loves Jalala is um, masculine and singular, there can't be anything more singular than that. So we have used singular Muzakkar pronoun. And uh, here again, singular Muzakkar pronoun Huwa has come. Why is huwa Allahu and huwa Ahadun? Sometimes grammarians say that way. Uh, we will analyze this surah uh, in detail inshallah in, in the future. So we will know at that time how to um, analyze this and how we can translate this and how the translations then tends to differ from one another. Uh, hija, I did find an ayah uh, about the use of hija, there are clearly many out there in Quran but uh, this one um, was interesting I think many of you know who have memorized um, Surah Mulk uh, you will recognize this ayah Iza Ulku Fiha Iza Ulku Fiha Sami'ulaha Sami'ulaha shahikan. Shahikan. Wahiya tafur. So here, here. Wahiya tafur. So here we are talking about Jahannam. And um, remember uh, when we were. Um, discussing uh, jinns and uh, we said types are kinds of uh, feminine nouns and there was a miscellaneous group and in that miscellaneous group we said the names of fire are feminine in, in Arabic. So Jahannam is, well it's a fire anyway, Jahim is feminine, Nar is feminine. So Iza Ulku Fiha Sami'ulaha, when they will be thrown in it, Samehu laha, they will hear her shahikan. 
Wahiyat Fool. So Wahiyat Fool, Wo here is um, not really means and. Quite commonly, Wo is used in the meaning of and, but here it isn't. And this is a special kind of Wo, which is called Wo Halia. We will know when we will uh, discuss different types of Wo in Arabic. So this gives the meaning of this being um, a single entity kind of a master. It changes the whole sentence into master. And uh, the translation usually will be that um, her being in a state of boiling, when they will be thrown in it, they will hear her shahikan, which will be sound, uh, which is the kind of sound which uh, if you have seen donkeys, I don't know when they're excited or something, I mean, they, they produce a sound which is inhaling sound. So when they, when they inhale, they produce a very unpleasant, sharp kind of sound. So it will be that kind of frightening sound which will come, come from that fire, uh, from Jahannam. So hija, hija the food, because nor or fire is mess of feminine. So the pronoun, uh, feminine pronoun has been used here in Quran, in Surah Mulk. So personal pronouns, I have not covered clearly every personal pronoun because our topic today is not uh, personal pronouns. Uh, we are just, it is just an introduction and um, I'm just counting the numbers, uh, uh, type of nouns which are definite. So these are personal pronouns, a few of them. Um, anta, I've got certain examples of here, Anta, it's for you we say Anta. Anta and Anti for feminine. Um, in Surah Yusuf, when um, his brother came a second time um, to get something, um, eat and drink, etc. So they said, during conversation, they said, Kalu is, they said, Kalu, Kalu means they said, um, Ainnaka, So they said, uh, Kalu uh, Innaka La Anta Yusufu. La Anta Yusufu. Basically, this is a little bit more complex than simply saying A Anta Yusufu. That's basically what we're saying, what, what they wanted to say. A anta means are you? A is kind of used for question, questioning. It's a particle of question. A anta, are you a anta Yusufu? Yusufu. Are you Yusuf? And this uh, expression is a kind of expression which you will make when you're really um overwhelmed by something and you are feeling have a feeling of awe and you're really surprised because they were surprised to see him sitting there you know uh, in a position of authority and they say are you really yusuf that kind of uh, expression uh, inna kala anta yusufu which basically we can see this uh, anta yusufu in it and yusufu is masculine and anta uh, pronoun um, masculine pronoun has been used anta not anti uh, here and if um, if we want to address um, a woman then we can say a anti mariam couldn't find an aya a anti mariam for example okay, maybe somewhere in surah mariam so a anti mariam are you mariam so from masculine anta and for feminine and uh, we will use anti. Uh, so we are more specific in, in Arabic. In English, we just say you, you, and you. That's it. Easy. But in Arabic, it's easy as well. It's quite interesting, really. Ya Hamil al Quran, Qad Khassaka al Rahman, Bil Fadl wa Tijan. 